This is Austin St. John, and you are watching That Hashtag Show. You better pay attention. Hey guys, this is Joe with That Hashtag Show. I am here with Justin Nemo, first time at a con ever, right? I did a tiny con in Oklahoma City, so I did do a con, but this is the big con of all cons, and it's kind of like freaked me out. It's crazy. I love it. It freaked you out, it's crazy, and you love it. That's yeah, a good attitude. Yeah. I, I mean, how much better can it get than this? There is everybody from all over the place, every ranger, every fan, everything. It's here. So if you didn't come, you missed out, but they have it every two years, so maybe you can come back next time. Yeah. Uh, quick, so with uh, the popularity of Power Rangers and its growing resurgence, when you left Power Rangers in space, did you think that the fandom was going to be this strong? I never imagined. Matter of fact, I didn't think it would be this strong six months ago. Really? No, I didn't know. I mean, really, there's 4,000 plus followers just on my page that's been up for six, eight months, something like that. So that's awesome. Uh, thanks, everybody, each and every one of you. Yeah. That's great. So what got you What got you into the con circuit? Does it Chris reaching out? Yeah, yeah. Chris had actually reached out and said he was coming back to Oklahoma for something and wanted to get together. And I was like, yeah, that'd be cool. Let's do that. And He's like, so while I'm here, I'm going to go over to this comic book store. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll come watch him. Okay, while I'm there, I'm going to be signing pictures. Okay, that's cool. I'll watch you. Why don't you bring some pictures? Okay, I think I can do that. I got a couple of pictures. So I went to that, and he's like, okay, so the next one is this, and then this, and then this. And I'm like, oh, no, hold up just a minute. I can, one thing at a time here. So I did make a, a convention in Oklahoma City, uh, New World Comic Con. And now Power Morph Con 2016. Nice. Do you plan on doing more of these? Um, it's very possible. I don't want to say yes, don't want to say no, but it's very possible. Any uh, fun, who was the biggest prankster of your season on your set? Me. Were you? It's not Chris. I know he's told you he is. He's a liar. It was me. And I'm going to tell you everything that I did because that would be bad. Bad. Any uh, fun behind the scenes stories? Not that I can tell you. They're bad. Really bad. Okay. Uh, how well do you know your season of Power Rangers in space? I've learned it really well in the last couple of weeks, so I know almost as much as the fans do. Okay, well, we're going to put that knowledge to the test. Now, I'm going to give you a, a small little quiz. Okay. We're going to start with uh, your character. What, what was his, well, your character didn't have a last name, but if he did have a last name, what would it be? Why do you say he didn't have a last name? Do you think you know my character better than me? Oh, yeah. Touche. Touche. So what is Zane's last name? It's Nemo. N-I-M-M-O, Nemo. Nice, nice. Yeah. Good one. Uh, what fictional city did your season take place in? Well, the city is going to be Angel Grove. Yes. And where, where, did, uh, where did young Zane grow up? KO35, yep. That was an easy one. That was an easy one. Yeah, that was a good one. I was going to try and come up with a town on KO35, but I didn't want to mess you up. Yeah, you would have threw me off my game, definitely. Um, what what, uh, what were your henchmen of your season called? The first season had the putties. You guys had the? Oh, I like how you messed that up. I was going to say putties, but oh, Quantrons, of course. That's correct. You, you know your stuff. What was your season theme song? Here we go now, outer space is flying higher than ever before, Ranger. In space! Go Power Rangers, go Power Rangers. There you go, there you go. Um, last question I have for you is, uh, what do you think Zane would be now? What's he doing? Is he chilling on KO35? Is he, what's, what's Zane doing now? Zane has gotten so old and his hair is so gray that he's walking on like a walker and stuff yeah it's you know how long ago that's been like 20 years almost it's a long time 1998 that, that is in a different decade that's in a different century before you know it they're going to call it prehistoric so yeah Zane, he's old crippled that was that was before like text messaging too before color before color yeah that's true well, Justin, thank you so much. It was a pleasure meeting you. We hope to see you at more of these cons. Yeah. And yeah, it was great. Thank that you. That hashtag. Awesome. That hashtag. Thank you.